I'm way too drunk to be in an establishment like this. Yeah. I'm so fucked up. In the future, me and my mother, I apologize. Yo, what's up, gang? Hey, we out here, bitch. Hey, I'm gonna sleep when I die. I'm so, like, sober and nervous. What, what are we doing? Okay, so we're not doing anything crazy right now, but have you guys seen, like, like the college weddings where people get married and stuff. Are we getting what? married? You two are getting married. <laughs> We're getting married. <laughs> you two, you two are, getting are getting married. To you guys? No. You, you two are, are getting married. married. To who? Each other. All right, I'm down. He's more money. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> We're going on campus to find out who's the bride and who's the groom. God damn it. Josh, I think you'd be a pretty bride. You know what? Shut the fuck up, Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely price off. Yes! I'm literally like 180 pounds of like just pure muscle. But he looks like he'd fit well in a bride's dress, you know what I'm saying? You see these cannons. I can see this this marriage working really well. <laughs> the last uh, three years of filming has been a uh, has been a journey to say the least. Don't start crying, because if you start crying, I'm gonna start crying, dude. Don't start crying. <sighs> We've lived together. Yes. Okay. Yes. Will you marry me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh my god. All right, can we get the fuck out of here? You gotta leave, dude. Oh my god, we lost Bryce! <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got finished filming the podcast. Walking back, gonna get some mock, go on the Amazon amp real quick. Then me and Bryce are gonna get married, and then we're gonna go and uh, party our dicks off at. Like, my dick some might butt. fall off tonight. I'm gonna be honest, just being single, like, like it's crazy for Josh and crazy for me. More, more so Josh. Cause this guy, like, you know, just fucks. <sighs> Alright, what are you guys doing? Alright, we'll see you boys uh, when we get married, yeah. so. Uh, we're getting get ready for the wedding. Later. Continuing with what I'm saying, yeah, Josh being single is just, like, not safe for humanity. So, hide your wives, hide your girlfriends. <sighs> Alright. Hi. We're cutting to the wedding. Let's just go <laughs> Let's to go that. to the wedding, dude. Let's go get married. Joshua Richards, my best friend, my brother. I knew you were gonna get married one day. I thought maybe it would have been to Nessa or oh, Lauren low, Gray low. All right. or wow. Ellie Ziggler okay. or Tila Dunn wow. or Livy Dunn. All right. It ended up being this beautiful woman. Yeah. Right here, Bryce Hall. Any of the special guests here have a, have anything they want to say? Now is the time. I do. I hate to do this to you, Joshy. But Bryce, do you remember that one time in college when we experimented with our tongues? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. Yeah. I thought we had something. Or not. Um, <laughs> I wrote that in. <laughs> Josh, make sure you give him bubble baths on Thursdays. He really likes them. <laughs> um, yeah. Josh, at least you sure. signed a prenup. <laughs> yeah. Thank what? you, fellas. Wait. Beautiful. You signed a prenup? We'll talk about it after the wedding. Josh, do you take Bryce to be your beloved wife? I do. Bryce, do you take Josh to be your beloved yes, husband? Yes, I do. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> yeah! 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 Alright! Oh, look at Bryce creeping over here, dude. All right, guys, this is Bryce's first sleep when he's dead tour, or sleep when you're dead tour. Stop. This is my second. Like I said, I'm Breeze Vlog. I'm kind of a vet. Um, so he's we're about to pull up now and uh, sleep when we're dead. I'm going to sleep when I'm dead. Right here. What's the hat say? Sleep when you're dead. Can't so, wear that. Let's go die.
shirt, okay. no shoes. Yeah, I'm pretty much fucking naked. Um, I jumped into the crowd, lost my shoes. Look at the bottom of my socks, bro. Sleep when you're dead. Let's go to an after party because there's no way I'm fucking going to bed right now. So. All right, guys, we're going to uh, Cleveland now. So it's like nine in the morning. We're out till like three last night, four. And now we got another flight. That's all the energy. I love that our flights are so early today that it's like the best feeling in the world when you drink a shit ton and then you have to wake up early for a flight. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. Do you think I know where we're going? Someone's gotta have this shit, no? When have I ever known where we're going? Never. That's how crazy lost we are right now. I'm asking Matt for directions. Guys, we're at the, the Bears game. It's a little chilly out. I didn't pack well for this. I got a t-shirt on. But luckily, the Bears team is like, yo, slide through to the merch shop and just select whatever you want. So we're gonna go there. I might have to pick out a couple fits for the boys too. Get these guys looking steezy in their Bears gear. Get them looking like they're fans. Cause Matt's dressed like a Green Bay Packers fan right now. All right guys, we're walking in this shop right now. We got like a $250 limit. So let's go bless up the boys real quick. Okay, first of all, I need a hoodie. That's the main thing. This is a large. Dude. I'm a pretty large dude, so. Uh, it's not true. Actually, I gotta stop doing that. I'll probably rip the hoodie or something. I don't think so. Man. <laughs> uh, Matt, you get a foam finger. I'll take one. You get a foam oh, thank finger. You. No problem. You. Chris, you don't get shit because you're making fun of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was telling him. I was like, why the hell does he have Packers colors on? Take it off. Why was he wearing that? What the fuck is he wearing, dude? You're looking right. This is for Chris. Oh. Got this sweater, him that necklace that can just be changed around. This hat, foam finger. Foam finger. Nice. Chris, the teddy bear. Did pretty good. All right, guys, we're at the tailgate for the Chicago Bears game. You see me right now. I got the fucking Fields jersey on. I got the Chicago Bears hoodie underneath. I'm feeling official out here. I'm feeling like I could uh, throw for like 250 yards right now. But uh, we're gonna go around, do some interviews like we always do with these games. I think before we get into the interviews, we gotta give our updated rankings on tailgates going into this one. At number one, you gotta have Cleveland. I feel like Cleveland's gotta be the number one. Number two, Kansas City. And with no shocker at all, Denver's coming in last place uh, for the tailgates. Kinda just a great demonstration of their season. Uh, their tailgate sucks, their season kinda sucks. Gavin looks sad, and he should be. What do you think the score is gonna be tonight? We got any prediction? 27 10. Do you condone that scoring prediction or what? I'm here for the beer though. Oh, I mean, fair enough. Here for the beer, here for the bears. Who really cares? Which are rappers? I'm here and I'm there, I'm there and I'm here. Bam. <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking rapper, dude. I look like a rapper. Do you think if uh, Dicka was the coach of this team, they'd win more games? They'd smoke a lot more cigars, that's for sure, bro. When you're putting good stuff into your body, What's you play good. Boys colors, though, man. That's, yeah. what fuck, that's what I've been telling him. Got he's on. got the hat and he's wearing like some Green Bay Packers yeah. colors Come out on. here. Hey, wait, you got a microphone too, man. Hi. Are you a Bears fan? Yeah. Uh, there was a little eh. I saw that. What's up? Let me do work. Let me do something. All right, you go do your work. I'm going to do my work. How? Could the Bears not win when you were looking like this? The Bears are going to win tonight. Run the ball. Hey, 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 whoa. So you're clearly a diehard Bears fan. Of course. People are saying the Bears are the worst team in the NFL. Oh, how you really? Respond to that? I would say Denver Broncos are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Bears! <laughs> That's a little bit of better energy. I like that. Oh, he puts him with a little move on him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god! Holy fuck! What a catch! What a catch! What a throw! Okay, oh, it looks like he got him. Oh! <laughs> okay, what's the play? What's the play? Post. Okay, okay, okay. Blue, 42, down set, hook! Oh! Good defense! I mean, our team suck. The atmosphere is lovely. I smell barbecue everywhere. I see bad honeys. Stop now. Just stop and hit the subscribe button. He knows what's up. Damn, man. Guys, so we're going to get Gav to get his face painted. I'm going to tell them what to put on his face. He's not going to know. He's just going to get that paint rubbed all over him. These butterflies with the glitter and everything. All right, we got the one picked out. He's going to look pretty. That's for sure. I'm super happy with it. What do you think, Gav? <laughs> 
<laughs> There's no way. Yeah, dude, you look awesome, man. So what do you have to say about your face paint? I think it looks uh, fabulous. Yeah, you you could use that word. I'd put a little more strain on the S though at the end. Gav is looking so cute. We pretty much got it head in to go to field access now, so I think we're about to walk in there. Let's go in there. It'll never not feel cool walking onto field access, dude. Welcome to Josh and Gavin's corner. Uh, we got a couple uh, picks we're gonna give you guys today. So we got our eyes on McKissick. We think he's gonna have a good game. We think he's gonna go over two and a half receptions. Do you agree with me or over, what? Over two and a half receptions. I'll put up the live lines for the game here. We gotta take a look at the live lines. The last I saw it was, I believe, plus one and a half for the Bears. They are actually the underdogs going into this home game, but I think they're pulling you know out what? a dub. You know what? They are still plus one, and they're I plus absolutely one. love that. The dogs are barking tonight, yep. and we're taking them on the money line. Some would say the Bears the are growling, line. Gav. The Bears Some would say the growling. Bears are growling. But if we were to look at the over under, we got 38 and a half here. Are we thinking over or under 38 and a half? I think every Thursday night football game this year been low scoring. It has I been. think it's a shootout tonight. I think it's a shootout. I'm going with the over. I, I got to stick with the under, but it's going to be real close. It's going to be 24 to 13. So you're going to have 37 points just missing the over. That's the picks for today. That's a little Josh and Gavin's corner. And uh, check in for us next week when we celebrate all the right picks we made this Go week. Go Bears, baby. Go Bears. Growl. We got Cutie McGee over here about to wash off his face. Kind of disappointing. I thought he was going to rep it maybe all the way on the ride home. A little uh, ride of shame on the plane. Got to wear the same outfit that you wear the night before. Keep the makeup on and all that too. So. But it held together pretty good. Yeah, it held together pretty nice. That girl, she did, <sighs> she did, she did well. Yo, she was telling me that her and her husband are the Mr. and Mrs. Claus of Chicago. No fucking way. So I was getting my makeup done by a celebrity, but I don't know if we Well, what are you what are you saying? Are you saying this, are you saying the Santa is not real? You think Santa has time to go to every single fucking parade? No, he's busy making toys and yeah, shit, man. Bro. They need filler Santa Claus. It's like a supply teacher kind of thing. I feel like too. But, but, but he always <laughs> came to my mall. <laughs>